We just had a close encounter. We drove in, parked in the back of the ranch with all the old abandoned farm equipment, so we're out of the way and not bothering the farmer. We look over, here comes a hen. And the hen came over and walked completely around the vehicle. I mean, she was within five yards. We could have swatted her with something. She was so close. Anyway, the turkeys are moving, and uh, we're going to bail out of here, get our stuff together. We're going to have a good wait, I'm sure, because it'll be probably a couple of hours until the the main flock gets here, but some birds are moving around. You never know. An old Tom could just come cruising by and um, find an arrow. Ken's coming to join us. He's been scouting. He's been our eye in the sky. He said a bird's coming our way, so he's going to come down and help out. This that big time, those three hens are literally going as hard as they can for this roosting tree. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna probably see him come right off that you know, that trail right there. Okay. He's walking as fast as you can walk and still be strutting. So I think what we gotta do is really pay attention because if he comes down that giddy up, there's a real our, our best deal is to drop down and get right over there. We're looking at a gobbler who's all fanned out with the sun shining through his feathers. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is pretty. I said he's almost too pretty to shoot. He's got three ends. And we think he's coming this way. We don't know. They just keep... That's a strutting area for him. He was there this morning for an hour. And uh, I think he'll strut around there till the hens decide it's time to go uh, fly up to the roost. Excitement personified. A beautiful big Miriams with three ends. And uh, we watched them for an hour come in. We got where we thought they were going to be. We look over the hill. They're running right at us. But they veered off at the last minute. The, the decoy normally works. This, this gobbler is just, he must have had his butt kicked or something. He just didn't. He didn't come into it. He isn't going to fight it. He's a lover, not a fighter. So they went, they went up in the tree. We're avoiding the tree, going around, going back to the rig. But here's a great spot for Uncle Joe. Give it a try tomorrow morning. Yeah. Uh, day two. Really close yesterday evening. But this bird just will not respond to our usual techniques. We use this fan he just gobbled right now. Usually gobblers can't hate or hate other gobblers and they attack them. But not this one. <laughs> he just he just won't come to fight off a, a rival. So uh, we're gonna maybe use it here as a bit of a distraction but that's all. And uh, we're hoping we're at a place that he's gonna come to. A strutting area. We're gonna just wait and try and sit and wait and be quiet and be hidden until he shows up and then hopefully get a shot. Uh, this is the last morning of the hunt. I only have a couple hours left in South Dakota. So we bought a 12 gauge backup just in case. <laughs> we got an extra tag and we would like to take this turkey home. So anyway, wish us luck. That's the hard part. We gotta just sit and wait. Definitely coming this way. The trick's not gonna let him get almost past us before we shoot. That's gonna be hard.
Wait, where did it go? Uh, probably a three-year-old got nice hooks oh boy sunrise indeed oh what a beauty all right we got her done first thing in the morning last day I'm leaving at uh, 10 o'clock so I have uh, about two hours to get back uh, clean the bird we'll put him in the freezer and uh, pack all my stuff and head back home so I am pumped.